Oh. Hello, welcome to Monday Prepping with Pam and Amy. Today we have some tasty treats for you. So here we go. Meal prepping with mostly, mostly Amy. Amy. <laughs> I'm the sous chef. She is the sous chef. We're going to do some more comfort food today. We've got tuna, tuna noodle casserole. Tuna zoodle casserole. Oh yeah, tuna zoodle casserole. And we've got egg bites. Egg bites and zuppa Zuppa I never, I never can say it. Italian. Right. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, I'm gonna wash the celery and you're on. Okay, she's washing our celery. We're like, wait, we need celery. Okay. Hi guys. Welcome. I hope you had a great weekend and now you're ready for some fresh food in your refrigerator. I'm very excited to be introducing you uh, zucchini noodles. So, but first we need to get some of our meats going. Um, I'm going to put into the oven real quick. I could actually do all of these. Let's do that in this. If we have breakfast sausage, actually we'll put those. Um, the breakfast sausage and your regular sausage for the Zuppa Toscana all need to be pre-cooked. So, let's get these in this. I already turned on the oven to 425. We want it kind of barbecue esque style. Let's get these out. Ooh, they're frozen. Ice makes me sneeze. I don't know why. <laughs> so, <laughs> my kids think it's really funny when I'm talking to them and they're in the kitchen and they'll go and they'll jingle around the ice in the ice cube maker because it makes me literally not be able to talk. So. There's my, what is it, my, my kryptonite? Yes, ice, people chewing ice, can't stand it. Ice cube maker, because it makes me literally not be able to oh, look, look, I can hear myself. That's pretty good. All right, I got these all broken up, put in there. This is the easy peasy way of doing things. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Hot, we'll throw those in. So I'll set those aside. Next up, we need to get our zucchini noodles going. So, get this out. So, get wet. because we're going to put them right back into some water and salt. So I'm going to just cut the ends off. You want to leave the stem part on because that's going to be your handle when you're messing with the mandolin. So I've got that going. Cut all the ends off of these lovelies. Now, the really cool thing is you cannot do this method with frozen zucchini. But if you find at the grocery store zucchini that's already been julienne, you can do this method to that zucchini so you don't have to chop it up. And I don't even know if they have that available anymore. That would be interesting to see. So, mandolin. Who am I saying hi to, Pam? Oh, we got Shirlene on, and Hannah, and hi, Rachel, hi, and Danica. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Danica. It's nice for you guys to be here. I love cooking with people. I got my ninja. Yes, I saw that. I don't think we're using it this time. But if anybody's thinking about getting one of the ninjas, or the mandolins, or the salt, or anything that we've put on as a link to Amazon, It'd be really helpful for us because that's kind of one way that we can make just a few pennies um, and the ordering and we're actually waiting to be verified as like true merchants so we only need a couple more orders even if they're little things and then we'd be approved and then we can actually put all this stuff on our website which would be really cool for you guys because then you can see the whole list of everything that I um, suggest in one space rather than right now I can just put it into Facebook a link at a time so 
you want to help me out, that would be awesome. Charlene got her ninja and her air fryer. Yes! That is awesome. Have you tried out the air fryer yet, Charlene? I think she just got it. Yeah? All right, next week. Anybody have anything in their pantry that they want to use up for next week? Since I haven't quite created the menu yet. We usually do announce what we're making a little bit early, don't we? We've just been so busy with workshop week and everything else. Okay, so you see, I'm just making them nice little cuts. Um, sometimes the recipes show this with the zoodler, which is really fun if you have kids because it makes these long noodles but it's not very practical for easy meal prep. So that's a fun dish to make with your kids as an experiment. If you're looking for easy fast, this is the way to go. It is. Um, okay, so this is one way you do it. And you put it in here and you twist like that. Oh, that might be the fat one. No, that's the good one. Oh, that's the it? one we want. You want the scrawny, you want the skinny little thing. So look, that just, but you just keep twisting and it makes these really fun noodles. And you can salt cure these as well, just the same as the ones I'm doing. I'll stick those in there. But they just get uh, really long and it's fun and pretty, but not meal prep fast. And that's what we're doing right now, meal prep fast. So this is the long laborious part. Everybody has time to catch up now. Is anybody really cooking with me? And we'll get that going. I would have had this done, almost, but we had a workshop right before hair. <laughs> so, no big deal. Fast and furious. The more noodles you do, and, and you have to be aware because these will actually shrink down to like half the size of what you got. So if you looked at the recipe or the, the shopping list and went, wow, that looks like a lot. I think I asked for eight or 10 pounds. That's gonna shrink down when you take a lot of the water out of it into four or five pounds, which isn't very much when you're looking at a full casserole. And- I um, didn't put all mine out, so if you need more, I can wash more. See, even she didn't believe me. <laughs> well, you said 10 on the shopping list, so I thought you meant 10 and I left out 12. And I also said medium, but you know, it's really hard with the sizing. So sometimes the poundage works, but whatever it will be, will be, and you'll, it'll be yummy. So. Charlene you know, has made fries and toast. Yippee! The fries turn out amazing, don't they? And Dennis says, that's dinner right there. <laughs> yes. Zucchini. So the cool thing about the salt curing is that it takes the water out and it makes the noodles kind of crunchy. So people don't uh, get wigged out or weirded out by it being too squishy. The oven's ready. Do you want me to put the sausage in there? That'd be great. Thanks, Kim. Set the timer for like 20 minutes. So we're getting the sausage in there. Then that will be ready to go. And then literally one pan in the oven, two different sausages. It'll be done in 25 minutes and you'll be ready to throw those in with your vegetables. This is fast stuff, guys. And the whole thought process of doing your meats together and trying to plan like that is coming in my ebook pretty soon. And we're gonna drop a link. When are we dropping the link? Do you have the picture done? Uh, <laughs> uh. It's always on me. <laughs> yes, no, I don't. As soon as I get the picture done for our cover, which is almost done, I'm just waiting on a font from our designer. We will be putting a link for the pre-sale of our meal prepping book, which has 10 chapters mm -hmm. on it, how I make meal prepping fun, fast, and fabulous. <gasps> oh, oh, that's a good <laughs> <laughs> Write that down. Fun, fast, and fabulous. Fun, fast, and fabulous. And joyful. So, but, and then I even let Pam have a chapter in there. <laughs> so that can be with Pam and Amy. And I'm typing it too. Yes. Well, some of it. <laughs> hey, I did the first five chapters. She did. She did the first five chapters. So, and she keeps me on track. I would never have, I'd, I'd never get this out to you guys if it wasn't for Pam. So, ultimately, she's the, the number one person to be thanking. 
But so she's saying I'm the whip cracker, right? She's the whip cracker. She's the organized. Let's do it. I just want to play in the kitchen. Can I just do that? That would be the most fun. Okay, look, I only have two left. And you know what the really cool thing about this is you don't have to do your arm workout the, the day that you do the zucchini. Because you're doing this and this and this. It's the same with the cabbage. But of course, have the glove. But the cool thing about these little things is then you have little handles. Makes it very nice. Very, very nice. So she, Shirlene ordered two things and I ordered one thing. That would, should be our three it things. It should be three, but it might be three shipments. I don't know. We, we're still figuring this Amazon thing out. When I looked today, it said we had two completed orders, and we need one more to be officially real people that wanted to do this thing. So, even if you order the salt, which I need to do that. The Ninja is still $20, I think. Is it still on sale for $20? I don't know. I should awesome. look. Go to Because that's look. a heck of a price if it's anybody super wants good. one. Normally, it's 40 What's it called? Ninja? It's the small... Food processor ninja. ninja. Ninja small processor. Take a look. See if it's there. Is there anything else that people are looking, wanting uh, ideas as far as kitchen gadgets? Mm, I think nope. that covered. It's now 40 bucks again. Oh, dang it. All right. I'm going to rinse this off because that's very important. Ooh, there's one for frozen blending that's normally 50. It's on sale for 34. Nice. All right, that's good to go. Now, are you okay with me using that salt right there, Pam? The real salt? Yes. This is the one. That's what so for. I'm gonna use the rest of this. It does call for quite a bit. I have. I know you have more. a bag of it. She's stuck. So, don't be afraid. Put a good amount on there. So it's got to go all over it. And then in the end, we're going to rinse it really good. But you want to use your hands. You want to make it mix really good. And you can kind of feel the salt on all this zucchini. Okay? And I know in the recipe, I said to do it into a colander, which I'm going to transfer mine to a colander in just a minute. But I wanted to do it in front of the camera like this. But definitely, once you put the salt on it, and it literally takes it starts leaching immediately. So I thought, oh, I can leave it on the counter for a minute. Don't do it, it makes a mess. So there's my big bowl, it's nice and covered. I'm gonna go put it in the colander in the sink. And we're using a mesh colander from Ikea. Yeah, that just stands right out of the sink. I love this thing. All right. is going. So next, um, we're going to chop some onion. You want a green onion, you said, in your Green onion bites? in the egg bites. Okay, so we're going to chop some onion, and I won't, um, and then the pepper, right? Mm -hmm. Is what we called for in the egg bites. And then did you want spinach? Sure. Do you have spinach? Yes. Give me some spinach. everything then as soon as the sausages come out we'll be able to throw all that in these egg bites are really cool because they can be frozen and reheated and uh, if you have an air fryer they can be reheated in there pretty simple and the toaster oven part the onions going. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So, did we get a quite? Did we get any any uh, answers for what's in the pantry that we can put into a recipe next week? Not yet. What do people want to make, or what's something somebody's craving that they haven't been able to go and order, 
and see if it's something we can make. Hmm. I made also buko this weekend for the first time and salad wraps and something else I can't remember. But I have a friend and we like shanks. Food. Shanks. They were beef shanks. Yes. Um. So lucky me to find a guy that likes to cook. And we're very dangerous in the kitchen because we make tons of food and then we're like, eat a little tiny bit. That's good. It's our meal prepping for the week. And then I send it all home with him because I'm like, I'm cooking on Monday. I don't need any of this. So. There's our green onion. Tuesday I do, what are you missing? Yes. So tomorrow I am going to be making ice cream. <laughs> we had a couple people that were missing ice cream. So I've got some healthy recipes for ice cream. I haven't decided which one I'm gonna use, but I'll post the recipe on there. There's one with bananas and there's one with coconut cream. So we'll, I'll probably provide both recipes, but I may only cook or make one. No bananas, no bananas. Yeah, Amy doesn't like bananas. All right, the egg bites are so yummy and simple and fun because you can really put anything you want in them. Um, and if any of you Pinterest, it's a great place to find egg bite. There's like a couple things that are like, oh, 10 different ones. You can do ham and cheese, potato. I even sometimes with some of my clients that like these on a regular basis, I will make a big batch of the innards and then freeze them in like six cup type portions and then I can get them out, whichever ones I'm doing. So I've got peppers and onions, and we're gonna put some cheese in this after we get the sausage. Oh, and you wanted some spinach. Let's put that in there. I'm gonna make sure there's no slimies. No slimies. It's not too old, but it seems to go slimy fast. It does. You know, a trick that my mother taught me with spinach is if you rifle through it, and you take out the ones that look like Freya's here. Hi, Freya. I don't see any. There's like these long, skinny ones. Or if, actually, if you can take any of the kind of wilty ones out, it does help your spinach keep longer. So sometimes there's more than four. All right. And I think I'm making 12 of these, right? Yes. my container for 12. So, can't get too much stuff in there or there'll be no eggs. <laughs> you can also use herbs, fresh herbs. Really, anything that you like to make a scramble out of is good. to put these together. I happen to like putting eggs, breaking them out separately. I'll do this. Remember my breaking egg trick? Watch, I love this. Just I go. used that this weekend. Up. And it breaks and you stay over the bowl. It's like, it's like a little game. Which egg is the strongest? And it's funny because you get one and it like breaks four in a row and then one comes along and breaks it like that. See? I'm gonna break out, uh, let's do eight eggs to start. Did you gave me 10, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoop. Oh, I know another thing somebody posted they were missing was peanut butter cookies. Ooh. We can do peanut butter cookies. Yeah, my raw my raw cookie Your dough raw has cookie peanut, peanut butter in it. Butter dough. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that didn't last very long. We need to do that again. Those were yummy. We oh, and I got my chocolate chips too. I'll show everybody my chocolate chips. There you go. We need to put these in our Amazon one. Okay. They got them in Amazon. That's where bottom. Perfect.
Lily's dark chocolate baking chips. They are sugar free because they're sweetened with stevia. And they're little, little tiny mini ones, so they work perfect for the bites. We'll set up an Amazon link. That's the only place I've ever found them. Alrighty. Got nine minutes left on that. Here's our eggs and our veggies. I put a little water in there, give it some air, put some cheese. That's ready to go. Done. Okay, next we're gonna have that's our tuna. They would only let me have one oh, that's package right. though. <laughs> powder too if you want. I have already crushed grass. Okay, this one might be a little old. It doesn't want to crack open. It's... <laughs> so frustrating when you think you're opening a big slice and it comes out these itty bitty tiny little things. Doesn't want to open. Alright. Open your garlic. Do I have them? <laughs> yeah. You can tell me if I'm missing ingredients. You know, I've handwritten all of these recipes before we send them to you, which has been a very good lesson, and I should be writing these things down as I create them. <laughs> but I didn't. So, it's all in my head. So if I deviate from the recipe, I'm sorry. Okay, egg McMuffin is 10 eggs, sausage, onion, pepper, shredded cheese, salt and pepper. Done and done. I believe the thyme, I know the mayonnaise and the coconut cream are for the... Celery, chives, onion, parsley, I didn't want parsley, mayo, coconut cream, pepper flakes, ooh, I need pepper flakes, garlic is for the tuna noodle casserole. Okay. And tapioca there. starch. There you go. Um, the thyme is in my refrigerator, and the red pepper flakes are in my spicy drawer in a clear topped little short round Ikea container. Good thing we live together. Which is what we keep saying as we're being quarantined together. It's quite fun. I'll dry. And squishy. Alright. There's that. Thriftway has the Lily chocolate chips and candy. Oh, that's nice to know. That's awesome. I'm gonna put some thyme. I wonder what the price difference is. Wait, is the thyme the thyme goes in the zupa? No. Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. The chives go in. Thyme, kale, onions, coconut cream. Chives is in the sweet one. potatoes are off. And the onion, you are okay with regular onion in this one, right? Mm -hmm. Let's 
see what I paid for Lily's chocolates. Right. We're gonna set that aside to mix it in a bit. There's that, and here's our garlic. You smash it a little bit, it's a little easier to chop. If you have a boppy chopper, that was very much my friend in the beginning. I have one. I don't need it now. You will all get to this point, I am confident. Especially if we get stuck like this for several more years. <laughs> several more years? There'll be a lot more death. <laughs> yeah, I know. By, Death by insanity or murder. <laughs> by, uh, let's see, how are we all in this together? Okay. Garlic. I think I want some garlic in the zupa. Also. Because I just do. There's garlic. Kathy and Bruce just joined us. Hi, guys. I'm going to chop some onion. Now, I'm going to do both these onions, even though there's one that's for the soup and there's one that's for the tuna casserole. But, it's doing these little things together that make meal prepping go faster. So, it's those kinds of things you want to think of uh, when you're deciding on menu planning also is come up with stuff that has, you know, sauteed onion and you can do three onions at once and then split it into different pans if you need to. And stuff like that. Oh, these are strong. strong. We need to get you some goggles. I know, right? Wow! Dry. Her, her lovely assistant is behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Who's asking about that? My husband. Your husband. <laughs> Okay, I gotta step away for a minute. Oh. Fan your eyes. Fan the eyes. I am going to need a, to move over to the stove in a moment, but not yet. We'll chop a few more things because we still have ooh, one minute left on our thing over there. That's good. So I know that some people, I was reminded, this weekend that they uh, leave half of the onion, like the roots part, on it to hold it all together when they're chopping. So that can be helpful. Um, and I know that's kind of a chef's trick and reference. Oh, Charl Char Charlene uses a lighted candle and it helps with the tears. Really? So how does that work? Just have the candle lit in the in the kitchen while you're cooking? Um, or you're kind of She just lights a candle. Ah! Alright, I'm gonna get the sausage. <laughs> at least look at it. Yeah. Looking good. Needs to be twisted a bit. Light the candle before you start cutting onions and put it near you. Okay. Cool. We're going to have to try that. Come on. Turn. Going to Dana sending us love. Thank you, Dana. For about six months, I couldn't eat onions. So Amy, it was very hard for Amy not to cook with onions because everything she cooks has onions in it. Pretty much. It was. That was hard, but I did. And I learned that it can be done, even though you just have to use more fresh herbs. You can also 
infused garlic. Yeah, oil. The infused in garlic oil. You couldn't eat or regular garlic. Or infused olive oil with garlic and onions to, for the flavor. Did we do onion in there? I don't think we did. Just garlic. Could have done oil. Yeah. Yeah, that is helpful. Okay, that's done. Bam, bam, bam. This way. this up and then this is going to be the pan that we make the soup in. How easy is that? Convenient. A little bit of avocado oil. This is a blend avocado and coconut that we get. We'll let that get nice and hot. Kathy, we are making tuna noodle casserole, Tur tuna zoodle casserole. There you go. Tuna zoodle casserole. And then Zupa Toscana. I'm typing this in there. Uh -huh. And then egg muffins, breakfast muffins. Egg bites. sauteed onions to go in the zuta casserole and the soup. I'm going to take half the onions out and I'm going to put it into the casserole and I'm going to keep the other half here and I'm going to add the ingredients to start our soup. So actually while this is still getting hot, I'm just going to transfer my cutting board over here. There we go. And I'm going to cut up our sweet potato. That's what we will need. Sweet potatoes and broth. The Zupa Toscana is really cool because it's super simple and like so yummy. Have you guys found that with some of these recipes, like they seem almost too simple and then they're not gonna taste good. There's just four or five ingredients and then you eat it and you're like, oh. even <laughs> today Pam was heating up her chili from last week and I haven't been very interested in eating the chili, and then I smelled it and I was like, oh, give me some, I'm hungry. So. Let's change that. The potatoes we're going to cut in half and then quarter, and then I like to just do like half moons. And it's good if some of them are bigger and some are smaller because uh, the smaller ones will mash up pretty easily and kind of add to the creaminess of your broth. And the larger ones then will be pieces. Oops, throwing on the floor. Where's our vacuum? What, what? Our vacuum. Oh yeah, dog, tucker. <laughs> We are hot. That's good. Okay. Like I said, we're doing two onions. And we're going to split it when it's done. Now I can put these in here. And I'm going to put a little bit of garlic when we put in the potatoes. Get those going, and we'll have time. Hi, then. Sherry.
If you like it like this, where I'm actually really doing a lot of this work, or if you just want shortened versions, or if you want, like I've already got things chopped up, but I'm just throwing them in and talking to you about that, if that would be easier. Um, that requires kind of a stop and go as you're re-watching it, or if you're not prepared and you're cooking with me. Our, our whole purpose was the hope that you could cook with me and then ask questions as we're going. But I know this is a hard time for some people, so. And we didn't do a drawing this week because nobody posted their pictures of their chili and their, what else did we make last steak, week? Steak, stroganoff, stroganoff, and we made cold beef and slaw, right? We made that, yeah, with the steak stroganoff. Because that was from the roast. Hot onions, hot onions. Babies are strong. All right. Potato. I peeled four. If you don't want to use all that, I'll I was kind bake of it. Looking, I might do one more bit. Thinking of how much sausage we have, but you are going for the little bit less meat, more veggie yep. concept. So this is actually good. I can make fries with that one. Oh, yeah. In your air fryer. Yummy stuff. All right. Sherry says you're cute. Thanks. She likes your hat. Where's Diane? She needs to show us a picture of her in a hat. Right. And who else has a hat? Freya has a hat. Freya probably didn't take your hat. Who else has a hat? Freya and Diane. Did we have another hat, Freya? We have one more hat to give away. Well, guys. We gave stuff. Freya's hat to Charlotte to deliver it. Oh. <laughs> yes, Charlotte, our assistant for our workshop. Sherry wants to learn how to chop like you. Well, get on, get on our live. Get on, keep doing it. Yes, do it with us. It just takes a lot of doing it. I was horrible, horrible. Like I always had bands on my fingers. Always, always, always. Just you just gotta keep doing it, and you need to have a sharp knife. The very, very best thing is to have a sharp knife. A dull knife is actually more dangerous than a sharp knife. So, all right, I've got some onion. I'm gonna run over here and throw it into our pan for our fat. Tuna zoodle casserole. For our tuna zoodle casserole in the pan. Then I'm gonna put our garlic in here. Yum, yum, yum. And our sweet potatoes. Yum, yum, yum. Stir that all around. Just going to kind of brown a little bit. My uh, sister-in-law calls it being kitschy. Got to make them kitschy. Don't know what that means, but I like it. That's my sister-in-law from Australia. So I have four brothers, and I'm the only sister, the only girl, and we grew up here in Oregon City, and then we all dispersed around the world, and my mother went, what the heck, both my parents, what did we do to have our children just go, Psh. I went to Italy, I have a brother in Australia. I have one that went to Alaska, and he is back. I was in Italy, and now I'm back. The Australian one visits, and then I have my youngest brother, my oldest brother, who's older than me, lives here, and then I have three younger ones, two, one in Australia, one's here, and one is a uh, solar engineer, and he's on an island in Vanuatu, which 
right at this moment has a hurricane going over it. So we're all thinking of him and praying that he's safe. And we have sausages, almost. We're still getting our potatoes going here. Once the sausages come out, we are going to leave the oven running because we'll be chopping up, or not even that, we'll be rinsing the zucchini and then putting the casserole in there to cook as well. So, that's easy peasy. What? You want it to smell good. Always want it to smell good. It smells delicious. <laughs> you saw me sneak by. I just in the water. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> I saw me in the camera. Oh. Oops. What's really funny is the delay. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a delay on. There's a delay. It's live, but it's sort of not live. The video's blurry. Uh oh. Is it because of all the steam? It might be up? the steam. Was it blurry before? We can't have technical difficulties. Oh, and the sun is coming in now. Bring the so steam off there. I'm just peeling the thyme off of the little stems here. When you get to the end, it's pretty soft. So if you take the hard end and you just put it in your fingers like that. I always find that this little soft end that breaks off is fine. When you chop it up, it chops off too. Chops up also. So, there you go. And I can't believe Easter's coming. Did you guys see my apron? It's got eggs on it. I try to have an apron for every season. And I have a lot. Someday we'll have to post a picture of where all my aprons are. It's a lot of fun. But if this is what I have to wear every day, then I want to make it fun and colorful. Ha! Huh, even better than the clothes I'm wearing. This is where I have to be colorful, Pam. That's right. She wears black and white, but her aprons are colorful. See? Decorations. And I like they never clash with your aprons. <laughs> no. Yes, that's exactly right. Exactly. Oh, another thing I was going to do this week is Easter candy. Oh. Oh! We could do Easter egg dyeing with natural dyes. Like all the different vegetables that make stuff make colors. Have you seen that? Yep. That might be a good thing to do on Wednesday. And Easter candy. Um, yummo. Alright. Nine. And some time. Shirley, you're the only one that says the video is blurry. Uh oh. Maybe it's your camera. <laughs> Getting kitschy. I'm gonna put it in the bra. Mm. All weekend long. Last week I cooked a turkey for a client. Oh, I grabbed your vegetable bra. Oh, that's okay. It'll be vegetable bra. How did it smell funny? <laughs> I thought it looked kind of dark. Well, the dark is okay. Pacific is really good. They got good stuff in there. But, um, so I made a turkey for a client where they had to start cooking and then I got there and I deboned it and I made enchiladas and I made a turkey soup and then I took the carcass, brought it home with me and I, all weekend long, I was cooking it down and making a nummy broth. So my house and Pam's house <laughs> <It> smelled, <laughs> smelled like things amazing. Kidding. That was super fun. I'm just gonna get some more water. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to rinse our zucchini. Come on. There we go. You want the potatoes to be covered. So, however many potatoes you put in there, you can add a little broth, you can add some more uh, or, or add water. Lost my train of thought. That's going. The coconut cream or milk, we're going to add that in the end. So this can all be like that. This we'll throw away. And then we're going to go back over here to the other side. Do you want to... That was Pacific vegetable broth. <sighs> it's a really good brand. And it's local. So all of their broths are yummy. Um, just taking a peek at these babies. Hmm. You know, if you bought a pound of ground 
breakfast sausage, you can actually put that into the oven as well as one piece and bake it and then cut it up for simplicity or it's really easy just to brown it in the stove too. But that is a possibility, especially if you want it to be somewhat formed pieces, then it makes it easy to do that. Okay, zucchini, we ready for that? Mm -hmm. It's been sitting here for about half an hour and you'll see it's about half the size that it was before. And we're gonna rinse it with warm, lukewarm water. You really wanna get the salt off. In the dish that we're making, whatever you make with these, you wanna be very careful about not adding any more salt until you've tasted it and know for sure that you want more salt added. Because they will be somewhat salty, not too bad. But, just as a precaution. So I'm gonna really get in there, do a good job. Both of them what, Freya? I'm not sure what she's asking. What did she say? Both, Both of them? them question mark. Uh oh. Pacifica, if we're talking oh. about Pacifica vegetable broth, I like the, their vegetable broth or their chicken broth or beef broth. I buy all three. Yeah. That's what I meant to say, any of them, not both of them. Alright. Super. Super. Now, sideways, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to squeeze it, and don't be afraid, you cannot squish it. They're super, you want to get as much moisture out that way as you can. If you have them in a plastic colander, you can kind of push down on them. I find the metal does cut into them, so I don't like to push, but we're going to squeeze squeeze. Hello, Linda. Is that my Linda? Yeah, beautiful sunny day here. Yep, it is. Look at that sunshine coming through my kitchen window. Just for a minute. There's a cloud, but we got a sunny green yard. It's so pretty. Ooh, today we are up in our office and we're on a call and there's a rooftop that's a first a one-story building right down in front of us and this huge blue heron flew and landed right on the roof and sat there and looked at her pond hoping there was fish in it which there's not but it was so beautiful and to see him land there huh? it's huge he was huge i've never seen one in this area yeah oh he's awesome he was humongous all right this is pretty again zoodles you don't need to work out today I like it when my kids help me because then they uh, can do all the squeezing. The cool thing is if you make these, they actually will keep in the refrigerator for about um, a week. So I'll make just a whole bunch of them for clients and they can use them. They're really good in a scramble in the morning. You can even make your egg cups with them. Uh, they're really good with just oil and pepper sauteed really quick and red pepper flakes and oil and garlic is there's a dish in Italian called aglio olio peperoncino and that's just pasta noodles with olive oil garlic and red pepper flakes just really quick pan fried and you can make these into that really yummy it's one of my family's favorites and or you can put red sauce on it I don't think I've made carbonara out of this. I've done that with spaghetti squash. But these are good, fun things. My nephews like them. They're like little green worms. You know, leave it to boys to like to eat green worms. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna spread this out on here. Get them off my hands. Put another 
And you don't have to use paper towel on them. I just feel like it takes up a little bit more. It's good. Actually, I want to roll this way. Oh, no, that's got a lot too. Here we go. Leave a nice thing. And then you want to squeeze it. Diane's here, but she's not home. Here, but not home. She watched. I mean, she's there. on, but Are she's not. Are you still not on home. your errands? <laughs> she biked 13 miles today. Wow! Good job, girlfriend. That's super cool. It must be nice there already. I'm jealous. Hey, we're supposed to hit 69 this week. Oh right! I like it. Okay, so once you've squeezed and squeezed, so you can't squeeze no more. Pull this out, and you have zoodles. Make sure there's no paper in that. It's a little bit squishy. See how shrunk up they are? Mmm. And they're crunchy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I'll pull those out in a second. I'm going to check on the soup, which is boiling. And smells amazing. So, all we need to do is put that on like medium. The potatoes need to cook. I think our sausages are good. Yep. I'm going to leave that oven on though because we want it for um, the zoodle casserole in just a moment. Ooh, do you need new ones? Yes. Nice. There's my vacuum machine. Hi, little Tucker. Hi, little Tucker. Okay. That's going to cool for a second. It's going to be 81 where Diane is. What? Oh, we're coming to visit you. Yeah, we're coming over there. All right. Oops, I'm over here. <laughs> Let's do some celery. I'm going to get this cut up. If I know some people like their celery to be pretty soft. I think you like yours a little crunchy, yes? Mm -hmm, but I like it small pieces. Small pieces. All right. We will make sure we have small pieces for Pam and... But I didn't saute it first because it will cook in the oven with everything and then that way it doesn't uh, get soggy. But I know some people like to have it more cooked. So if you want it more cooked, saute it with your onions first. Diane said come and go kayaking. Yes. As soon as we're out of quarantine, we are there. <laughs> we're going to plan a trip. My wings have been clipped and that doesn't make me happy. <laughs> Show them your knife again too, the shape of the knife. That helps too. What it's called. It's just a chef's knife. It's a seven inch. I do have a shorter one that I like to use when I'm cooking in other people's houses sometimes instead of a paring knife. I don't very often use a paring knife because when you get good enough, not good enough, comfortable. Like this thing is an extension of my hand now, but I would have never said that a few years ago. So I thought about taking up knife skills class, like knife fighting class. <laughs> that would be my weapon. April Davis just joined us. Hi, April. My girlfriend got me a, a, a towel or a... She called it a cleaver. A no, it's not a cleaver. <laughs> cleaver. No. You know, I've been working with a knife at a friend's house that's like this thick. I'm going to have to get one. Because the reason I like it is you cannot get your fingers caught in it. It's so big. That's like, more like a cleaver, isn't that's it? That's totally like a cleaver. But it's really cool for chopping. And sometimes when you're chopping and the, the stuff comes up on the blade on these short knives, it's a little bit obnoxious. It doesn't do that. Like it comes up and it falls off. So I've got to get one so I can practice more with it. And then we'll, we'll show it here and talk about it a lot for sure. Okay, let's, I've got in here now, I've got tuna and celery and onions. Just cutting up my tuna a little bit. And this, how much you chop it up, 
depends also on how big of bites you want. Small. Small. Pam's a little nervous about this. When she said tuna noodle casserole <laughs> first, I was like, that brings back bad childhood memories. Because <laughs> I'm not a fish person. I do like tuna if it has a ton of mayo and relish and pickles and that kind of stuff, but I'm not a big tuna lover. Because I remember tuna noodle casserole when I was a kid. No offense, Mom, if you ever watched this. <laughs> but it was like cream of mushroom soup with frozen peas and egg noodles. And I don't think it was my favorite. Yeah, I don't when think I it was wasn't your favorite. When I said it, she's like, I was like, come on. It's good. It's one of Linda's favorite things. She likes it when I made it for her. So, so um, I'm doing this as a... Because people say, oh, I don't like that. And I'll say, well, have you tried it this way? So I always make people try things that, I think it was Freya that said, I don't like shepherd's pie. Well, you need to try this one because it's probably different than what you grew up with. Yes, definitely. So you have to try new things. So I am trying new things. There you go. Okay, I just put a little bit of the chives in there and I'm going to save the rest to go on top. And um, we've got our mayonnaise. Linda says that this actually tastes better as the days go on. Yeah. <laughs> See? Okay. Um, I believe, would you just... I'm oh, never mind. I'm not going to worry about it. There you go. Good girl, Freya. She's going to try the shepherd's pie. <laughs> there. It's good stuff. Okay. I'm putting the cream in with the mayonnaise. I'm scooping off the top because I don't want... Oh, you did get cream cream. That's cream cream. I didn't, I didn't want this stuff on the bottom. So if you just got cream and there's a lot of stuff on the bottom, you kind of just want this. And I don't think we want the whole can anyway. So we're going to use the rest of this in the soup. Or ice cream. Or the ice cream. Frey, I'm making ice cream this week. Because you said that's what you miss. Okay. And I know you went and just bought the regular ice cream. But I'm going to show you how to make it healthy. I have it on my computer. Um, I just want to know if there's I for the um, the this. I'm pretty sure it's just mayonnaise and that. Three and cans of tuna, pepper. zucchini, salt, celery, chives, sweet onion, parsley, but I said no. Mayo, sweet cream, pinch of pepper flakes. Drop the hint of pepper flakes. Garlic, tapioca, or arrowroot starch. Oh yeah. This makes it old. Pepper to taste. How much arrowroot does it say? Two tablespoons. All right, we're gonna do. My tablespoon is right there in that bowl over there. Sweet. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna kind of sprinkle it in here. I can get it to sprinkle. So this will help the noodles um, when they get when they get juicy, because they will on the celery. That'll help it be thick a little bit. So we're gonna mix it in with the meat. Make sure it's well mixed. Um, flip it across the counter. You could also put it in with the mayonnaise and whisk it, then you might know a little better, but this'll, this'll do good. We're gonna mix this up really well, okay? Shirley, and the mayo recipe is posted on a Thursday Getting Saucy with Amy. It is in our Facebook page. And it is tagged Getting Saucy. So you can find it on one of our tags. If you look that up in our page. And I can tag you in it too. And then, dun dun dun, as soon as we get the link out, <laughs> the recipe book too. you can uh, get the recipe book. Okay, I just put in the, the creamy stuff in with the tuna. Has anybody tried our links? I want to s the tags. Has anybody tried the tags? Looking up stuff by the tags. Super cool. Okay. 
That's good. Now I'm going to take our lovely zucchini noodles here. Okay, Shirley, and I just tagged you. You can go watch Amy how she makes it. <laughs> I'm going to put this in here. Ooh, slivered almonds. That's a good thing to put on there. Is that what you're talking about? Diane's idea on top of the tuna noodle casserole. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, my mom used to put like chips too. Yeah, potato chips. <laughs> I think I have some sort of ones. I do. But now, look, I made the this towel totally disintegrate. So mm. cheap paper towels. I can't find the good Costco ones. <laughs> well, just make this work. Now, when this happens and it's a pain, what do we do? For chewing paper? <laughs> Not gonna chew paper, I promise. You take a deep breath. And you deal with it. And then you can say prize to whoever gets paper in their mouth. <laughs> Just kidding. I promise there won't be. Your tag, Diane. Okay. I want you guys to go see if, if you can do, well, maybe not during the live, but <laughs> tell us if you can do the tags because they're super easy. Nobody else, we haven't found any other group that does this, and we learned about this, and it is, it's fabulous. So on the right-hand side, there's all these tags. So if you click on Monday Cooking with Amy, all of her videos will come up. If you cook on Thursday getting saucy, all of the Thursday saucy videos will come up. So if you're trying to find anything on our page, then it's super, super easy to, to get. And yes, a little extra fiber with the paper towels. <laughs> all right, you wanna gently stir in the noodles. Look at this, beautiful. Make sure they're all Everything's kind of mixed in. Tip your bowl a little bit and show it in. All right. That is ready to go into the oven. Let's get out of here. If I would have got you more zucchini out, it'd be overflowing. Did you find silver almonds? Yep. Ooh, yes. You guys, too bad Facebook Live doesn't have scent. <sighs> smell. It's starting mm. to smell really yummy in here. One hour, guys. One hour down. I feel like I'm on the clock. Okay, I'm gonna put some chives on there and some slivered almonds. Now, slivered almonds are not on the list. If you're just watching this, that was Diane's idea. So Thank we're gonna try. What is Freya says, now I would try that and I won't touch tuna casserole with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> See, I was the same way. I just had a bad connotation with tuna noodle casserole. I was like, poor man's, let's just put anything and everything in there. But she convinced me to try it. Silly girls. Okay. And you realize that this is way too high though. So let's turn you off. The emails get, or the recipes get mailed out every Wednesday. If you're not getting them, then you did not sign up for them. So you have to sign up for them. Or they're in your junk mail. Or yeah, you get them in your junk mail. Okay. But I can check and see if you're on the list, Sherry. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna just do it on my board. 
generally I don't do meat on my board, but I'll do cooked meat. Oh, these are so yummy. These sausages are from Butcher Box. Butcher Box, right? But, oh my goodness. Sure, you never signed up for them. <laughs> You're not on our list. Okay, I'll uh, I'll give you a link real quick. All right, I'm gonna let those cool off for a minute. Pull out these little ones. getting our recipes I just put the link in the comments so you can put your email in there and you will get them on Wednesday so you haven't missed out this week if you're looking for anything past then you'll have to buy our ebook because they'll all be in there because <laughs> we've been doing this for what is this, this our is fifth, fifth week? week five weeks of recipes Yeah, and some of our starter ones will definitely be in the book because those are the easiest ones for grouping and meal prepping. And we're going to talk about how to organize your kitchen for easy meal prep and how to organize the recipes, like what to think about first when you're doing it, which we talked about here, is think about getting the meat. Think about the thing that needs to cook the longest. Those are the first things you need to get started. Think about the things that you can put together, cooking together, cooking the onions together so you don't have to cook different onions. And look, I only got one pan dirty for onions and then soup. Clean up. Ooh, these are hot. Diane says, Amy plans my week menu for me. Yay! And we're gonna, inside the book too, there'll be blank forms for shopping lists mm -hmm. and blank forms for meal planning and how I go about filling out the shopping list so that it makes sense, how to understand your store, what kind of spices to have on hand, tools, what tools, tools to have, pantry staples. I think you've got a lot more sausage than we need here. So, Yeah, I just took out one package. So works. if you don't use yeah. it all, we can just use it for breakfast. Diane, have you been cooking every week with the recipes? I know you've posted a few pictures. Those little ones are from Costco. Sweet potatoes are almost done. A little bit longer. I'm gonna cut these. How? What size pieces would you like this? Half moon or quarters? That's good. Okay. I like cooking the sausage in the oven because it makes it kind of roasted flavored. And that just tastes good. And it gets cooked even too. Yeah, well, you could cut it up and put oil it, but. I mean, if you pan fry it, then it's oh. hard to keep rotating it. Yeah. Oh, it just does a good job. And it's hands free. Thinking about what things you can do hands free, that's huge. And this is another one. If you can't find links, you can buy a pound of ground and keep it in its form and bake it in the oven and then cut it so that it's still pieces like this. Hello, Leslie. She just joined us. Hi, Leslie. Now, 
This recipe for the Zupa Toscana also calls for kale, and we are going to cut up the kale, but keep it separate so that you can add it as you're heating up, or if you like it super crunchy, you just put it in your bowl and then you put the hot soup over it. That's a good way of preserving it so it doesn't go squishy. I'll be right back. Juices. This will make it very not vegetarian. <laughs> this will compensate for the vegetarian juice. But it can be made vegetarian without the sausage, and it's actually quite good with the kale and the sweet potato. So if anybody needs to uh, do a vegetarian version, super yummy, just uh, with the veggies that are in it, and just different. And then there's the Beyond Meat sausage, too. Oh, yeah. That would be really good in there. So again, we, I see some newcomers on here. If you're not getting our recipes that are sent on Wednesday, I just put the link up there. It's keepthechangeprotocol.com meal prep. And if you put your, you click on that link, you put your email in there, and you will get the recipes on, are you washing my pan? Nope. I'm getting the brownies so I can put it into the soup. <laughs> Good thing your hands are clean. My hands are very clean. I can wash about 18 bazillion times a day. Just getting some of the brownies. It needs a little bit more water. Look at how brown that water is. Mm. Yeah, yummy. All the good stuff. Lene just joined us. Is that scary? <laughs> <laughs> your hands belong in your food. That's how you infuse love. All right. Okay. Use your towel. Ooh, we get to do sausage now. All right, we can move this out of here. Oh, is it is it better for me to be? Actually, let's move the camera this way. Here. Yeah. I'm making everybody dizzy. Oh, back and forth, and round and around. Um. Okay. Close my cupboard door. Close it. And. We have dun, 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 veggies, cheese, sausage. Since there's a lot of sausage, um, the best thing to do is just put a little bit in the bottom. They anyway, you control your meats, how much you want, just a little. Then we'll mix the veggies in with that, and put some cheese on, and then some egg. I have tried doing this several ways. I've tried mixing everything together, including the eggs, and then dumping it into the egg thing, but I or the muffin form, but I found that you kind of end up with more in one and not in the other. Kind of portioning it out like this just gives you a little bit more control. So I like doing it this way. It's what I've come down to in my preference. We've got our veggies. Again, these can be made without meat. It'd be tough to do it without eggs, but there are some people that eat eggs and not meat. So you could just make these meatless. Yep. And are they going to have any eggs in them? <laughs> Who's the chef? <laughs> As they overflow, I love veggies. And as you say, if you have any veggies left once you've done this, then you have stuff for a scramble, but... We could also, we could add a tomato to We could have added tomatoes. Oh, there's so many good things you can make. See, that's the, 
once you start enjoying this, pretty soon you start making things and good thing I live next to a family that eats and have a son that eats and friends that eat because I'm always giving away food. So come over to my house. Lene says we're pretty cute. <laughs> Thanks for the confidence builder there. <laughs> cute, cute, cute. The cute cooking show. Hello, Nico. Okay, so that's pretty balanced out. And our sausages. Uh, what else do I want? Do you want a scooper for the eggs? Um, I think I'll just use, yeah, a spoon. I'm just gonna put a little cheese on top. Another thing that's really good that I do with clients she likes is I thin shave zucchini and I set them down in there first, kind of like an egg cup, form it into an egg cup, and then make them. That's kind of fun. Makes like mini quiches with zucchinis. So. <sighs> you know, I used to cook. Probably six to eight meals a day. With two different clients a day. And now I'm not. And it's kind of crazy making. But I have all these fun ideas. So the cool thing about clients is I'd be like, oh, I want I think we should make this so I could come up with ideas and create things and now I do it all on the weekends and but I make way too much food. <laughs> the eggs. Sometimes if you put it into a pouring cup, it'll be easier too. But this is good. This um, muffin tin that I have, I actually got in Italy, but it's a silicone. It's a metal frame with silicone cups. It's pretty cool. So I know a lot of people have the silicone cups. If you're doing this in silicone cups, if you haven't worked with them much, you may not realize that you need to put them on a baking sheet. Um, especially the egg cups before you start putting stuff in them so that you can transfer them into the oven or else you won't be able to pick it up. I tried that. Linda says zucchini crust for egg cups sounds great. Yes. So you take the mandolin it. and you put it on the thinnest slice you have and you long slice the zucchini with the glove on very carefully all the way and the, then you wrap it around you cut one in half and kind of lay it on the bottom first like this and then you make one or two rounds and it makes it into a cup it's pretty good so it's taking a lot more eggs than you realize it's gonna be good i have to chop some more then you can do some fresh cracked pepper on top of these. Amazing how that just all soaks up, huh? Yeah. There's a lot of space in between all this stuff, especially the spinach and the veggies. It's surprising. Yeah, I'm gonna need some more eggs. There's two more in there. Beautiful. Um, probably I'll need two more after this. Have more? Hi Ryan. Yep. So that's a total of a dozen eggs she's using. Yeah, and these egg cups are a little bit bigger than than uh, your average. bring one of these to our online birthday party tomorrow because we're supposed to bring a cupcake. Oh yeah! Good idea! It's somebody's birthday. We're having an online birthday party tomorrow. <laughs> bring your own cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> B-Y-O-C-P? 
and it's East Coast, so it's early for us yeah. and lunchtime for them. So we'll bring our egg muffins. <laughs> That's a great idea. Linda said our sound went off. How can the sound go off? Uh-oh. Maybe we're just not talking loud enough anymore. I think our potatoes are almost done. How good are we with time, guys? See? How about now? Can anybody hear us? Are we doing okay? Why don't you ask the group? Did a microphone drop? No. We're still... We have no microphone. Look at that. Perfect. April says, I can hear you. Okay. Now I'm just going to tuck this stuff down in there. The veggies. Kind of good when you have a cheese topper. Holds it all in. Makes it yummy. Still no sound. Is that Linda? Yeah. Oh dear. But everybody else? Are we are we April says she can hear us. Okay. Um huh. anybody else not getting sound? sound on my laptop which is delayed. How about now Linda? Charlene says I can hear you. Aunt April says you're good. Okay. So Linda it's on your end. <laughs> we got this ready to go in and that ready to go in. Let's throw in our zucchini noodles. I'm going to put that for 35 minutes. And the way that goes, and check our soup. Looks good with our mm. potatoes. Mm -mm. Okay, you're just going to boil that. If you want more broth in there, you add broth. We're going to add our coconut cream. Do you want me to use the cream left over from that one, or do you want to use that in ice cream? Um, I have one more can for ice cream you can use. Okay. I'll grab that. Oh, here comes the carpet cleaner. Our right. Hoover. Our Hoover. I'm going to put this in. Oh, yes. You can see the time floating in here. Turn it off. Look at that. And then you, when you put the kale in there, it's so beautiful. It's like the most beautiful soup. So. Mwah. Okay, guys. We've got the casserole in the oven. This is done. We're just going to chop some kale. And the egg cups are done in an hour and 25 minutes. Three you full meals. You can do it. You can do this. I know that. Oh, Tucker found some potatoes. He's so excited. Um, the kale. Let's do that real quick. I'm just going to show you because I got my cutting board dirty. You're going to strip it like this. The top comes off and the bottom comes off. Then I literally stack it like this. Okay. About three, you've got it like that, you fold it in half, and you're going to chop it thin so that it's like this, let me think, for the soup, that's long strands. Actually, you want to go one this way, and then chop it that way so that you've got shorter strands. You're going to give me a, she's getting me a tidy board. Thank you, Pat. Not wood, but. That's okay. We can handle it. Okay. 
just thinking through the process. So for the soup, you kind of want small squares. So I folded it in half, and I'm cutting that way. Of course, you have your um, where your spine was. So then I'm just going to cut, and it should end up. This. Don't cut your fingers off. I won't cut my fingers off. That wouldn't taste very good in the soup. And if I cut myself right now, it's Pam's fault for jinxing me. Okay. So this looks like nice bite size. You don't want them too big and stringier than your plain weirdness when you're trying to take a bite. So this beautiful green in with that orange and sauce is gonna be so pretty. I love how pretty food is. So, there you go. You can put a little bit of this in a bowl, then put your hot soup over it, or if you want it super squishy, you can throw it all in there now, but I wouldn't suggest that. So, that's it. I... An hour and a half, good job. An hour and a half. Let's Yay. give Amy a hand. Everybody love. send I love her a love. love emoji. Firecracker love. Love right. emoji. And um, who's volunteering to come clean up? <laughs> <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> oh, we do it together. Bye, guys. Love you. We'll see you next week. Oh, there we go. We got lots of loves. Oh, yay! Thank A heart you. explosion. <laughs> we forget there's a